Hi, Pin General Tools. Today we're going to show you the new Deluxe Easy Pro Pocket Hole Jig Kit. It comes in two versions. It comes as a basic kit, and it comes in the Deluxe uh, Jig Kit with a molded case and finishing plugs. Uh, you can use either one of these kits to make pocket hole joints on an end to end or 90 degree or 45 degree angle joints in woodwork. Now we're going to show how to work with the Easy Pro Pocket Hole Jig. Everything comes in the package. Everything you need to make pocket hole joints for woodworking. You have your pre assembled clamp. It's got a built in clamp. It's got a guide collars for the drill bit. It's got a self tapping drill bit, specially designed drill bit, with a stop collar for positioning the drill bit at the correct height. You want the drill bit to stop just before it reaches the bottom. It's set correctly here. If it's not set correctly, you can adjust it easily with the Allen key and the hex nut. Loosen the stop collar, slide it up and down to where you need it, tighten it back up. And it comes with a, uh, a square drive bit. The square drive is the, uh, the strongest, uh, most fail safe drive for the, uh, the screw heads. And it comes with complete instructions. So it's got everything you need to get started and to finish up. You can mount this jig on a workbench. You can, there are screw holes provided. You can screw it right to a workbench or what we find more, more convenient is you can mount it to a piece of wood and then clamp the wood to a uh, workbench. So we'll start by mounting the wood, mounting the jig to a piece of wood. We're just going to mount this to the board. We can clamp this in a variety of ways. I'm going to use a uh, simple stop. Now that's fixed to the bench. We take our piece of wood. Oh, before we take the piece of wood, let's just check to see that the drill bit is at the correct depth. This drill bit should not touch the bottom. Should not touch the bottom here. So what we're going to do is we're going to back up the collar a little bit. So it's just shy of the bottom. Find it down. Now we're going to uh, we're going to join these boards in this fashion as if this was going to be a let's say an apron for a table. So. We're going to put two pocket holes through the face of this, this board. This will be on the inside. It will come out the bottom, intersect in there. So you want to roughly center the board in the jig. Tighten down the clamp. All we have to do is to drill the pocket holes, put the drill bit in the guide. Now you want the drill bit to be in the guide and turning at its full RPMs when you begin cutting. Very simple. One's done, do the next. the clamp. There's your pocket holes. Side A to side B. Side B. Side A. Now you can you can use a stop as I'm doing. Just run the screws in. Or set it up vertically, down this way. We can clamp this piece of wood, hold it in place. 
against that stop, it's not going to move. Now we replace our drill bit with screw tip. And you just follow the guide holes. Woodworking joint, two screws. This is often used to make a uh, frame, is it a picture frame or a uh, piece of furniture. So we can mount these two pieces like this as well, using a pocket hole in this piece. Edge to edge or end to edge or end to end. You can, you can do it this way you need to. But this is, uh, if you're making a simple 90 degree frame, you want to join part A to part B. So we'll start by a little jig, center the wood, tighten the clamp, clamp the bench. And it's as easy as that. So we have our picture frame. You can also do a 45 degree angle, but when this is on the inside, you don't see the joint, you don't see the screws, we disassembled and assembled. When you're installing pocket hole screws in a 45 degree angle piece of wood. Two things you want to remember. One, you want the face of the angle outward when you place it in the jig. Turn that down. The other thing you want to remember is because there's less wood here for the, uh, the screw, you want to move the stop collar a little bit down the shaft reducing the length of the cut. So that means that you want to bring it down about a quarter to three-eighths of an inch. Bring that back down. Again, you want to bring the bit up to speed, let the jig do the work. both ends. As you can see we have plenty of plenty of wood to grab screw. Good clean cuts. Again centering it Approximate, don't have to be precise. And nice and tight.
40 meter lines. Fit in there right like that. So if you were making a table, this would turn into an angle brace. You have corners fastened and you have a brace in the middle. Pretty strong. It's as easy as that.